Well, hello again. Uh, today I'm gonna be showing you all a family favorite recipe of mine. It is used for our meatless Mondays. Um, it's meatless meatballs. These are our meatballs here chopped up. I'm about to go through and break down the ingredient list for you all and show you how to make them in the comfort quick of your own Before kitchen. I get to the stove and I show you all how all these ingredients and what order they go in and how much of them to put in, I'll just break them down for you right quick. Obviously, you gotta have mushrooms for the meatless mushroom recipe, right? So this is 16 ounces of white cat mushrooms. Then you've got your olive oil here, followed by your salt, a tablespoon of butter, this is a half cup of chopped white onion, four cloves of chopped garlic, some flat parsley, quick oats, half cup, half cup of breadcrumbs, some finely shredded high quality Parmesan cheese, and then last but not least, two eggs. We're gonna take a tablespoon of the olive oil here. I cook all the time, so I eyeball it. Get that open. And we're gonna put it over medium high heat. So, yeah, right about there. And I'm gonna take the mushrooms here, add them to the pan. It says to cook them down till all the moisture's gone. Usually for me, I find that's about 10 minutes. So gauge it, you know, using your eyeballs. You don't wanna burn your mushrooms, obviously. Put all that in there and take your little sprig of salt. And we'll cook these down, like I said, for about 10 minutes. And then I will check back in with you all to show you the next step. So you can see the moisture the recipe speaks of. We're going to cook all that out of it. And once that's done, I'm going to take that tablespoon of butter, add it in, cook it for about five more minutes. Most if not all of our moisture now has left the mushrooms. I don't know how well you can see that, but yeah, it's perfect. I'm going to now turn down the heat to medium and we're going to add in our one tablespoon of butter to give our mushrooms that golden brown that we want for that meatball look. Cook for another five minutes like this. Get my timer going. Just incorporate that butter in there really well. And I'm going to let it go and cook for, like I said, five more minutes and then I will check back in with you all. I'm gonna add that onion next, cook it down for another five minutes, and then we'll turn the heat off, add in our garlic, let it get fragrant, and we'll return to our main counter space over there so we can mix everything else in and make our meatballs. We are coming to the end of our five minutes. As you can hear, I've cooked down, I'm gonna turn the heat off here. I've cooked down the onions and my mushroom mi mushroom mixture. <laughs> ah, it's like a tongue twister, but it's not. And now I'm gonna add in the minced garlic. Get all of it. Every bit counts. It's garlic. All right, and I'm just gonna mix that on in and I'm gonna move the meatball mixture back to the main counter over here and we're gonna incorporate all our other ingredients now. Stay got tuned. our mushroom mixture here. Oh God, I wish you guys could smell this. It's so good. Um, and now we're gonna finish up adding the rest of our ingredients in so we can form them. Well, we're gonna add the rest of these ingredients in and then we're gonna allow this to set up in the fridge for four hours before we form the meatballs, so. Uh, again, this is our half cup of breadcrumbs we're going to pour on in, half cup of the quick acting oats. I'm going to do the one ounce of the Parmesan cheese, the finely shredded. I've already shredded up there. Just one of the eggs. Mess. And then our parsley here. This is a quarter cup of the parsley. And before we add that other egg, there is one more egg. We're just gonna combine these ingredients like so. All incorporated. And once we get them fully mixed and incorporated together, we'll add that last egg in. 
but you guys, I wish you could smell this. It's so good. It's so simple, as you've seen. Okay, so we've got that there. Come out, you can see a little better. And then we'll go ahead and add this last egg. And once I've added and incorporated this completely, I'm gonna put some saran wrap over the top and put it in my fridge to let it set, let the flavors meld merry for the next four hours. And then we will resume the cooking video. See y'all then. Hours later and an evening jog, obviously. We have our mushroom meat mixture here. I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm going to create little meatless meatballs. Well, you know, that big in size, about two inches or so. Just set them out on the baking sheet. I've got the oven preheating at 450 degrees and these are gonna go in there for 15 minutes. Bake and once we pull them out and they are finished, I made some tomato sauce and those are my breadsticks sounding off right now on the bread machine. But I made some tomato sauce, which I'm going to attach a little mini video in addition to this to show you how I made that sauce. Um, the breadsticks, however, I on my cooking channel, there's a video where I detail and show you how to make breadsticks in your bread machine. So I will show you the link to that as well. But yeah, this is our four hour later finished meatball. All right. I'm gonna get these made up and then I will put them in the oven and when we're done, I will pull them out and show you the finished product. Alrighty, the meatballs baked at 450 for 15 minutes. I just pulled them out. That is our finished product there. Mmm, mm, so good. I'm gonna soak these in my tomato sauce and serve them over some angel hair pasta. And I made breadsticks too, so. I'll attach pictures to the end of the video. Thanks again for watching. All right, this is our finished product, fully plated. Our meatless meatballs on top of the angel hair pasta with my homemade tomato sauce and my mozzarella stuffed breadstick. All right, thanks again, y'all. See you next video.